there's too many enemies to deal with one by one, guys. We're gonna need some AoE. Casters? Me? Oh, I'm a Blade Singer. I only choose spells that make me better at fighting. Spores Druid, so same here. Darn, okay. We're gonna need some healing. Uh, Cleric? Oh, I forgot you are a War Cleric, aren't you? All right, uh, what about you, Paladin? Lay in hands? First of all, uh, Oath Breaker, can't you tell by my edgy clothing? And also, I'm not really a support, I mean, except to like undead. But second of all, I also use all my uh, lay on hands to cure the uh, bard of both alcohol poisoning and syphilis. Ah, the drinking contest, what a blast. You know, it was really funny when the bard tried to seduce us. Enough! We each of us have roles in the party. I'm the fighter, that's all I can do. We need to have both healing and a Wii to be a functioning team. I can summon a uh, flame blade that deals 3d6 fire damage. Oh, a second level sword spell. You know, I can do it too, except mine is 2d8 uh, light, and uh, so I can do well with it. Mine says it looks like a scimitar, so that means it's like light-ish. And um, not only that, but it, it uses my spell attack modifier, so I can add all the stuff that like buffs your spell attack modifier, which is like, um, um, well, mine is an actual weapon attack, which means I can attack multiple times with extra attack. Well, mine lasts for 10 minutes. Mine's only one minute, but who needs 10 minutes? It's not enough to have two combats within a dungeon. Look, unless you want to cast it like before combat, but it's a glowing blade. You're not going to be sneaking up on anyone. Furthermore, um, mine is more effective in darkness, actually having advantage in dim light and darkness, so I think I win there. Mine is also a light source, and it can be summoned back to me if I drop it. I can throw it too, yeet, and summon it back. You guys, you guys like that, don't you? Not only that, but uh, I can like hand it off to another player, and if I hold my action, and then they can dual will two shadow blades, and then it's gonna reappear in my hand, starting my turn. Uh, mine can burn stuff. Mine is psychic, which is much less resisted, and also way more flavorful. Mine upcasts a d6 every two levels. Mine upcasts to 3d8 at third level, and then a d8 for every two levels of that. And, um, I forgot to mention this, but. Mine adds on my, uh, my modifier to damage, unlike yours. First of all, they made it spell in Xenathar, so it's totally power creep. Not to mention that, uh, mine is still good if I don't have extra attack or a good, uh, physical modifier. You guys talking about melee spell attack rolls? Well, watch this. Vampiric touch! Ow, why did you- Wow, that was actually pretty cool. That's right, cast time, one action, third level spell, duration, one minute, concentration. It's a melee spell attack roll that deals 3d6 damage on a necrotic on a hit, and I heal half the amount of damage dealt. Well, a mine can still deal more damage, so suck it. First of all, how often do you just be a spell that can both heal and deal damage? And not in a negative way. And second of all, uh, it upcasts ID6 every level so i'll pace you quickly more healing and damage does it last for 10 minutes and can you submit back to your hand i don't need more than one minute in battle and it doesn't require anything just a free hand necrotic damage is highly resisted and you have to hold concentration but first of all fire is way more resisted second of all um it's given to druid which does not have a ton of great options to be tanky uh outside of being in their wild shape, which they can't even cast spells in until like 18th level, which you're not going to be using Flame Blade at. Second of all, um, all of the other classes that are spellcasting have options to get way better melee, like the uh, spells like Shield and Tensor's Transformation for Wizard. You have Warlock who has Invocations and Blade Pact. Not to mention Hithero also, furthermore, additionally, uh, as well as the cleric and paladin can both get armor options not to mention healing and being ta generally tanky you're at a loss druid they should just give this little ranger instead well actually can use a wild shape if my form has uh fingers um 
Also, like, mine doesn't do all the like, healing or anything, but it's got consistent damage. Also, I'm sure it's obvious I took some Warlock levels, so watch this. Innovation! Ah! Why me? But that was pretty awesome. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Fifth level, one minute casting time, concentration, one minute duration. You uh, have to make a deck save. If you fail, you take 48 necrotic damage. And then each turn, I can spend my action if you're uh, within range and not behind total cover to deal that damage to you automatically. No save required. Just an awesome witch bolt, not to uh, uh, better witch bolt, not to mention that I regain half the damage dealt and both the damage and healing are increased by a d8 each level. Mine's better than Witch Bolt. You're right, that is a much of an accomplishment. Thank you, everyone. I hope you had as much fun watching as we had making this. Um, we This is uh, to, to raise um, awareness and, and just to have a discussion about Flame uh, Ward as a spell in general, because, like, there can be, there's been a lot of times where you felt insufficient as a druid, and, and we don't want that. So one suggested change is for it to be uh, touch that way that it, it has more utility. For example, you can give it to someone who goes um, more in the fray or you can um, like, you know, use meta magic and things like that. Additionally, by doing that, like uh, maybe, you know, cause how could you flavor that? Oh, maybe you touch their hand and their hand growing from it is a blade. You know, that way that you can have it on appendages that aren't just uh, by have fingers, basically, so that you can, you know, you can be an animal and still be able to hold on to that blade, which I think would be a really cool addition. We've seen versions at uh, where at like fourth and fifth level, perhaps you can attack again as a bonus action. Um, there, there are multiple ways you can take this. Uh, like, it does have a, you know, not getting extra attack is, is a big downer for it. Um, but there's different ways to alter it. Uh, you could make it a D6 per upcast, considering some of the other spells we talked about earlier. I really don't think that would be overpowered. Um, or what could be really interesting is, like, it, you know, it stays the same uh, otherwise and maybe even make it, like, weaker at the start. But the attack can hit like everyone within like a, uh, uh, you can basically just make whirlwind attacks or something like consistently. Like I think something like that could be really unique. Perhaps you can add uh, your spell attack modifier to the damage or you have automatic concentration advantage. Uh, not to mention, um, remember it's very important to talk to your DM. This is, you know, things uh, forget. And we, we at the Dungeon, you know, highly recommend that. Uh, there, if you guys have ways of your own poop raid flame blade, that's great. Um, so, don't forget to uh, use flame blade responsibly. And see you next time.